from the organization on down, we feel we feel good about our culture. You always want to be better. I will say that. I mean, if you're not, you know, if your results aren't winning the Super Bowl, I think everybody's saying, how do we, you know, how do you ultimately be the last guy standing? Uh, but I think overall, between, you know, organizationally, between, uh, you know, our coach, our, our personnel department, uh, like our leadership on our team's outstanding. So, you know, you're always going to have somebody who's, you know, going to say something, uh, you know, that's not. You know, that might be, hey, that's their particular thought process on why we may have come up short, but I don't think in general, personally, I don't think it's an issue. We do that. I think, uh, you know, from the- What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I had to listen to that again. You know, it's kind of crazy now, you know, I probably am in denial, probably in denial, you know, because I look at myself and I say, I don't look that old. I don't think I look that old. I probably do look a lot older than what I think, but I don't think I look as old as Stephen Jones. He's 59. I'm 58. I'm just, I'm just saying, I, I'm just saying. <sighs> culture problem the Dallas Cowboys in his mind there isn't a culture problem hmm the Cowboys seem to be okay with the status quo maybe they're going to surprise us I don't know you know I don't know I'm I'm hoping and praying and wishing that they would do something more than what they've done. But in looking at this, in looking at this from when I was back at the house on Sunday and looking at the top 15 free agents in the Cowboys history, the only one in the last 10 years that makes the list is J. Ron Curse. And in the age and error that we have right now of teams that are Topping their topping their talent off with trades and free agents, we've done none of the above, and I'm just trying to understand. I'm just trying to understand because I, I'm a, a lifelong Dallas Cowboy fan that will die a Dallas Cowboy fan, and I'm hoping that I will see the team hold a Super Bowl trophy up. But listening to Stephen Jones. You know, with him saying that literally we've won 36 games over the last three years. That only Kansas City, only Kansas City has won more regular season games than we have. If that is true, then you should feel embarrassed. Because if you are winning as many games or more regular season games than anybody but Kansas City, you don't have anything to show for it. That means you've won more games than San Francisco. San Francisco, NFC Championship game, Super Bowl. That means you've won more games than the Eagles. In the Super Bowl the season before. It means you've won more games than the Rams that won the Super Bowl a couple years ago. And so on. So I don't know how you should feel proud that you're this good in the regular season and this bad in the postseason the other thing that i'm still mystified by it's not actually I'm not really mystified but when you equate it to the fact that you said when the rams had just won the super bowl we don't believe that that's the right way to build the team didn't they win the super bowl and we ain't sniffed one in 30 years 
maybe here's lies the problem. Because what's crazy is that team won the Super Bowl, got the roster, and made it back to the playoffs going as far as we did. And they have like $40 million in cap space more than we have. Now, I'm happy that you say that you're going to get Dak, CD, and Micah Parsons' deal done because that does give us some cap room, okay? Say what you want about Dak Prescott, guys. The fact of the matter is, he is the linchpin of having money if you do do decide we're going to get some players, you can get about forty million dollars, people. You can get about another ten from CeeDee Lamb. And you can lock up Micah Parsons. And if you can do that and you have a will, I know you've said when Jerry's gone, we'll probably take less risk. I don't see the risk that you're taking. Because the only risk that you've taken was trading for Amari Cooper with the number one pick. That's the only thing you have done in the last 10 plus years of taking any kind of risk whatsoever. And you have to look at it and say, that guy saved the season because you were three and five when you got him. You ended up winning the division, something nobody had done before, starting out three and five and winning their division. So you've done some things that worked. You saw Stefan Gilmore and Brandon Cooks helped your team. Why don't you see that we should do more of those kind of things to bring in more talent on the roster? Yeah, I get it. You believe in our guys to a point. But when you don't have a linebacker on the roster, when you don't have a short yardage specialist or a guy that can run between the tackles, you don't have defensive linemen that can stop the run, you're not going to go very far. Yeah, you can beat up on teams that are like-minded and, you know, and you, you take care of business in your division. You know, you got to figure that every year we're going to get five wins in our division because we, you know, usually we'll split with the Eagles maybe. More times than not, I think we're nine and five against the Eagles in Dak Prescott's time. You own the Giants. <laughs> you own the Giants. And the commanders, you know, they get the left hand up from time to time. But pretty much you can count on about five victories in your division. And you got to figure that, okay, we got to have three, four or five other patsies that you're going to play in the NFL. So, you know, you're going to get to the playoffs. But once you get to that elite talent, you need a few hired hands. You need a few dogs that can spark the troops culture hmm uh, you know I, I know what Charles Haley a guy like that does you need a guy that's a fire starter I know what Michael Irvin did as a receiver firing people up I need C.D. Lamb or I need you know somebody else who can do that Maybe the problem of the culture starts from the top and comes down. I hope you guys have had a great Taco Tuesday. I am tired. I'm going to get up early, get this work squared away, um, and hit the road. It's Barney. I'll be back at the Red Brick House just in time to start watching the Combine. Hope you guys had a great day. And remember, remember, always tell the people you love, you love them. Because you might not get the chance again. The better you get, you get more attention. And I love you guys. Peace out.